American Abroad Collecting Currency Abroad. If you don't like long videos, then turn away now. This video is going to be super long because I'm showing you all my star notes that I have uh, from low print runs. 320,000, 2001, Boston. That would be run number one. And there was only 320,000 of those bad boys. 320,000 from New York. Then you have 2003, also New York, 320,000. And I think I have another, that would be the 2003s. Let's do 2003s first. You have 2003, Richmond, Virginia, 160,000 of those bad boys. I have four of them, one, two, three, and four that I bought off eBay. You have Philadelphia, 320,000, 2003A, letter C. That would be a very nice 320,000 print run. Very hard, uh, of course, to find that 2003A Philadelphia note out there. I haven't had a chance to get it graded, but I'm going to get these graded, I hope, someday in my lifetime. I have some more 2003As here. You have New York, New York, and New York, and one more Philadelphia. So I have two of those Philadelphias there in sequential order, and then I have two of those New York ones that are in sequential order, and those are my 2003s. Now we're to 2009, strangely enough, I don't have any 2006s. 2009, I found these when I was working at the bank. That's when I, these are my first star notes that I ever found, actually, these two. A0665, 6503, and 6504, writing sequential. That would be from a run of, 320,000. That was a pretty rough, tough one to find. This is a Boston, uh, excuse me, this is a Boston, this is a New York note, and this was from one in 640,000. This is from Jay or Kansas City, where my mom used to live, but doesn't live there anymore. She moved to Florida, which is a better place, but I didn't get to visit this year because of Corona and because uh, it's a long story, I got sick and ended up panicking with my lung infection and then got diagnosed with lung emphysema, panicked again, did something really stupid. Now I'm recovering from that, hopefully. Um, and my mom's in Florida, so we didn't get to go visit with uh, my family to Florida this year. We had tickets and everything, but Corona knocked us on our butts. So anyways, Kansas City reminds me of my mom. That'd be one 640,000. Another Kansas City and another Kansas City. Those ones are running in sequential order, 13, 14, and 15. 2013 here, you have a run of 250,000. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen of those bad boys right there. Fifteen. 2013 is from Atlanta, 250,000 run. Very hard to find even one of those. I have 15 of them. I got lucky they were in different straps. And here's one, Richmond, Virginia, that is still lurking around. He's from the 160,000 run. I'll put him back in the stack. Now we're going to be going to the $2 bills, show you those. I only have six of them. They're all running in sequential order. You have 23, I'm going backwards, 22, 21, all 512,000 runs here. 20, 19, 18, and then now we're at the $5 bill area. The $5 bills, I have some pretty rare ones here. One from a 320,000 print run. That would be from the year 2013 from D. And that would be Cleveland. And these are super duper rare because there's only one run, 320,000. Cleveland only had one run. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I have nine of those. Nine Clevelands from 2013, there was only one run, 320,000. Those are some of my best notes that I have there. Over here we have a $5 bill from 2009. That would be the JF uh, series, 960,000, not super rare. I think they're worth actually more than eight to 10 bucks a piece. 
I don't know why I wrote eight to ten dollars. They're probably worth more than eight to ten dollars. Some of these I underestimated, some of I overestimated. It's, it's probably based on my mood. Um, we have another near here, 2013. Those are the MBs, and that would be the first run of 320,000. Like I said, you could try to find the MB from the second one where there's 3.2 million. It'd be a lot easier to find in this condition, but try finding these low print runs here uh, in this condition. It's very, very difficult, um, and some people like the the hunt of the chase, or I think that's what's called, to chase down these notes, and I like to actually do that as well, and it's a really great hobby of mine, and I had a great job. I still have a great job, but I hope that I can get back to work once I get healthy here. From another 320,000 print run, this would be the fourth run of the K series here for Dallas K. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, wait, I'm at L, wait a second. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Pretty decent. And then you have ML, that would be from a 3.2 million run, they're not rare. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty of those. 20 of those bad boys. I could have bought the whole stack. I remember that now. Um, I didn't have $500 laying around. I had enough for 100 and I bought $100 worth. Hoping that I could sell them for double face or maybe even triple face someday and get maybe $300 out of the deal. Um, it's kind of like a savings thing I thought for, for myself. However, um, yeah, we'll have to look into it. I hope that it st stays that way. These are my $10 bills. I have really, really special rare ones. These would be the 128,000 um, rarity, I guess you could say. This is MF. There was only one MF um, series run for 2013 for $10. Three, four, five, six. Six of those, and they are each 128,000. Six of those, one, 128,000, extremely rare, in absolute perfect mint condition. Um, let's put those to the side. I have also 2017, and that would be the NF, and NF was also only 128,000 uh, run size, so extremely rare to find these two. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. I'm assuming value is right around $150 range, maybe even up to 200, depending on how bad a collector would want one of these for his collection. Um, they're going to be extremely hard to find out in the wild. Put those away over to here. Um, MD, MF. Let's look at some other ones. You have the five dollar. A couple other rare ones I have are from MF, three hundred twenty thousand. I think though, however, that was um, more than one run, if I remember correctly, for two thousand thirteen. MF, yeah, had more than one run, so did this uh, MF. But the MH had only, um, back to $5 bills, excuse me guys, I jumped the gun here. MH only had one run, 320,000, very rare. I found one, two of those, and then you have the 128,000 print run here for this $10 bill, however, there were more than, there was more than one run. And then you have only one run for this Kansas City $20 bill, 320,000 and I have two of those and they are in sequential order, sort of. <laughs> Not really. I thought that they were, I thought it was 800, 801. I remember getting it 701 and 800 and thinking, um, oh, that's weird. That must have skipped somehow. But uh, yeah, those are some of my uh, other special ones you have here. The $20 bill one, it's a one in 320,000. Um, one in 320,000, one in 512,000, I have IG from 2006, three, four, and then MKs from 2013, those are also one, those are one in 640,000, it's kind of hard to show you guys, I think I need to zoom out a little bit, there we go, let's zoom out, one in 640,000, I have one, two, three, four of those, and JK from 2009, also one in 640,000, 
Those are all super rare. You're never going to find these uh, in that condition in the wild. Uh, it's going to take a long, long time. I found them because I work at a great place, um, have a great access, great opportunity to look for notes. Let's get back to the $10 star notes. These are the 2013 star notes. And that would be from the $10 bill, Alexander Hamilton. And this is from a 640,000 run. There were two runs, but this is a 640,000 run. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh God. Uh, one second. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. I have 18 of the 2013s from the 640,000 one. All found at work besides one note. This note, I believe I bought one of them from online eBay. Then we go to 2017. And eyes would be From Minneapolis is a 320,000 print run. Pretty hard to find those. I have one, two, three of those. But there were more than one Minneapolis run, strangely enough. So those aren't super rare. And then I have the NJ. Um, that would be 128,000. Very difficult to find that run. Think about bringing it over to my super rare run or over to there because, like I said, it's really hard. I found one, two, Three of those in order 41, 40, and 39. And then we have the $20 bills. I have one in 384,000. That is only one run, so it's pretty hard to find that one. It's in decent shape. It came from the wild. There is a little bit of a yeah, use wear and tear on there. A 2017, one in 320,000. And then these are my $10 bills, I have about 30, 35 of them right here from 2017 NJ. And NJ, this is the second, um, or the first one where there was 1.152 million. So they're not super rare, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to them. And then you have 320,000 run, 320,000 run, some more. Um, I think those three came from like the same strap you have, yep, yeah, look. I don't know, 92, 93, and strange enough, 94, but it's not uh, from that same strap. Two of those were in the same strap together. You have 2017, 2013, 2013, 2013, 13, 13, 97. I found four of those bad boys. They're all 320,000 runs. And then MG. MB, MG, all 320,000 runs more, 320,000 runs more, 320,000 runs, 640,000 runs, 640,000 run MAs um, for the $50 bills. And then these ones are super rare, 128,000 $100 bills. So um, definitely that's my stack. <laughs> um, base value, I don't even know. I've never added it up. I don't really want to know. However, it's not for me, it's really for my kid and for my family. And I took these out of um, yeah, the safety deposit box, brought them home to show you guys a video. They're going right back in the safety deposit box because I don't want to uh, lose these. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's my collection that I have. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed looking at it. And I hope that you guys learn something from it and I hope that you guys can get a cool job that you're searching for cash and that you're also out there looking for great notes and I hope that we somehow can uh, see what you guys collect and get to know each other better through this wonderful thing called the internet so thanks guys for watching this is the American Abroad collecting currency abroad signing off and it was very nice of you to join me today to look at my special star notes. Benjamin Franklin, signing off.